Central Regional Minister Justina Marigudasan kneeling down to beg the Assembly members to confirm the President nominee Ernest Arthur. The former MC about a week ago failed to secure the needed two-thirds majority needed to secure his confirmation. Having failed the two-thirds test about a week ago, the expectation was that this time he was going to secure 44 votes to make him sail through, but that was never to happen. He was four votes shy this time round. 40 votes out of 65 was all he could garner. The regional minister had knelt down and begged in vain. Tensions began to rise and finger pointing became the order of the day. For the sake of the development we are all looking for, please let's do this for ourselves. It's nearly 1 a.m. and we are still here following the process. Inside the assembly's conference room and outside are over 200 weary pair of eyes struggling to follow the process. After Mr. Arthur's second failure, it was announced that the president had renominated him. <laughs> Consultations began to enable them to vote for the second time same day, but that did not materialize as the process had to be adjourned to an appropriate period where another confirmation battle would begin. Residents who could not blink an eye but follow the process as well, express their disappointment. Che assembly man in a day. More and more be ni hundred dollars no as the more one. What I want to tell the assembly members is that they shouldn't allow the hundred Ghana cities losing bonus paid to them to make them continue to reject NS Atta. If they fail a hundred times to confirm him, the president would renominate him a hundred times. If Akufado does not choose him as the MCE, we, we shall not vote. For Joy News, Richard Kwejinyaku, Cape Coast.